Hello everyone, Brad Gratrix here. I just wanted to make a quick video with a couple of tips on writing useful wine tasting notes uh, for yourself. A couple of uh, assumptions that I'm making for this video. Uh, one is that you're already uh, used to or, or, or taking part in, in, in wine tasting. So this isn't a how to taste uh, video. I'm just sharing some tips on how to uh, write down your, your experiences in a useful way. Uh, second one is that the, uh, I'm talking about tasting notes that you write for yourself. So, so this isn't uh, a video for, for professional writers or people who publish their tasting notes for other people to read. This is about writing useful notes uh, for, your own, for, for your own purposes um, a, a little bit later. To get started, number one, uh, first one is, is to use words that are meaningful to you. Uh, this might seem uh, obvious in a way, but I, I do uh, notice and, and hear from some people that feel some pressure to comply or conform with the vocabulary, the sort of standard vocabulary that exists out there uh, in, 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 the world of, in the world of wine. Um, if you're writing notes for yourself, um, and, but you've never smelt uh, you know, a, a, a box tree or a gooseberry, for example, then, then you don't need to write those, those terms uh, when you're tasting a, a, a Sauvignon Blanc, even though that might be a, a classic aroma of there. So you don't even have to give such specific uh, aroma, aroma descriptors. Just try to capture how you're, how you're experiencing, experiencing the wine. So even that, just to say something like, it's very, it's, it's very fruity uh, or reminds me of, of X, something else that I've tried or, or some, some food or some um, memory that you have. All useful, all useful stuff. When you read that, that tasting note back a uh, year later, a couple, couple years later, you'll be able to, from those words, aha, in, instantly go back to that, um, uh, to, to that experience. Second tip, uh, the one that I think is, is, is most important, uh, is to be definitive in the way that you, in, in the way that you describe the wine. So uh, when you're talking about, uh, you know, the body of a wine, make it in your, in your notes, either medium body or, or full body, not medium to full body or uh, medium plus acidity, because you need to uh, to make them to make the notes useful when you're reading them back. You really need to 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 get off the fence. Um, is it high acidity or is it is it is it medium acidity? Uh, with that compromise, with that ability to to, to sit on the fence, as as I say, um, you end up with a lot of notes that just sort of uh, they, well they they're, they're not so meaningful, not so useful when you when you when you go back to them, because it's kind of uh, an an easy escape to say medium to full body. Uh, and so you end up with this big collection of notes to say medium to full body. Um, and you're trying to discuss the wine with, uh, with, with somebody else. You could be in a group of three. Somebody says, well, I think the wine is full body. And you'd say, well, yeah, I sort of agree with that. And then the other person would say, I think it's medium body. You say, well, I sort of agree with that. Um, it's, it's much more helpful. And I think forces some, some discipline and, and some sharpness when you're tasting, if you have to say, this has high acidity or this, this, this has medium acidity. So, so don't be afraid uh, to be a little bit more uh, bold with, with the way that you describe the wine, because it's going to be a lot more helpful when you're, when you're reading the notes, uh, you know, six months, 12 months, a couple of, a couple of years later. Uh, a couple of other tips just to make the notes, uh, tasting notes a little bit more interesting. Again, when you're, when you're looking back through your, through your tasting journal, uh, is, is to add in a few extra, few extra details, uh, like for example, um, who you're, who you're tasting the wine with, uh, maybe, uh, maybe a quick note on, on what some other people thought, uh, of, of the wine as well. Um, what you're, what you might be eating or just generally the, the, the environment or what you're, what you're up to when you're, when you're tasting the wine. So it might always not be a, a, a formal, you know, tasting environment. Uh, it could be that you had something uh, at, a, at a party or at a dinner and then you're, and then you're noting it down uh, afterwards. That's always fun and interesting, I think, to, to, to read that when, when you come back to it. Um, I also like to put the, 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 the time down when I, when I taste the wine. And if I go back to it, let's say half an hour later, I notice that there's, you know, something has changed. I'm getting a new impression to be able to jot that down uh, as well. How will wine performs after, after opening? So is it getting better as it sits? Uh, is it staying the same? Is it sort of declining? Uh, it, it, it's, it's useful to capture that as well because you end up, it's kind of a proxy for uh, how well the wine's gonna age. Uh, it's, it's impossible to make, 
you, you know, if the wine gets better for 30 minutes, that means it's going to age for five more years. And if it's 40 minutes, 10 more years, etc. There's no way to be so precise, but just in general, that if a wine is getting better as it sits, uh, sits, sits in your glass, uh, or if you leave it, you know, overnight, if you have a small amount left in the bottle, you save that, you taste it the next day, and it's, it's still really delicious. That's also a good sign that you've got an age-worthy wine. And if you happen to have a few more bottles uh, of, of that, or a chance to get a few more bottles, it's one uh, that's that's worth uh, worth laying down, or or tasting again in a couple of years. Anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you find these uh, helpful to to create yourself some some useful tasting notes uh, that you can enjoy and, and benefit from uh, a few years down the track. Thanks and bye for now.